welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 6.9. Now we're given this circuit and we're asked to find VC, IL, WC and WL which, which stand for the voltage across the capacitor, the current across the inductor, the energy of the capacitor as well as the energy of the inductor under DC conditions. So under DC conditions the capacitor becomes an open circuit and the inductor becomes a short circuit. So this is the resulting circuit. This is what we're basically gonna have. So that becomes a short, and that becomes an open circuit, which means we can basically omit it. <coughs> Excuse me. So after omitting all of that, we still have this IL across there. So we can first start by finding IL. And as you can see, if we had this VC over here, it would be in parallel with this two ohm resistor, which means VC is the same as the voltage, which is across this two ohm resistor. Now, after finding this current, we can basically use Ohm's law to find the voltage, which is VC. So let's do that. So IL is equal to four using current division multiply by six, uh, divided by six plus two, which is gonna give you 24 divided by eight, which is three amperes. So IL is three amperes. After finding this IL, it will go all the way into this two ohm resistor. And this two ohm resistor, as we said, is in parallel with VC, and therefore VC is equal to IL multiplied by two. And we found our IL to be three, so multiplying that by two, we give us a VC of six volts. So we're now done with two parts of this question, and we now move on to find the energies. So the energies, we just basically have to substitute into these formulas. <coughs> so half CV squared and WL is half LI squared. So this is what we have, half C, the value of C is four farads. And the value of V, as we found out, is 6. So we're going to square that. Then again, here we have half L, the value of L is 6 Henry's, and I, the value of I, we found to be 3. So just punching this into a calculator, you're simply doing it from your head if you want to. This is 36 divided by 2 is 18. And then 18 multiplied by 4 is 72. So 72 joules. And WL, we have 9 here. And we have six, so nine times six is 54, divided by two is uh, 27. So you have 27 here, 27 joules. So that is how you solve this particular problem.